I've been testing out the most unique title animation plugin I've ever tried. It's a particle-based title generator with a fluid workflow. It's also GPU accelerated, making it super responsive. It's compatible with Final Cut Pro, Motion, Premiere and After Effects. It's hands down the most intuitive title animation plugin with the most customization controls I've ever seen. This is now my new default text animation tool. This is MoType 2 by Yanovox. First off, thanks to FX Factory for sponsoring this video. FX Factory is where you'll find this incredible title animation plugin. The link and discount code are in the description below. MoType 2 is a big upgrade from the first version and it's just been launched. And I'm going to show you why MoType 2 is such a game changer. I already have MoType 2 installed and you'll find all of the different title presets right here in your title browser. You can preview them by just scrubbing through and there are loads of different presets and loads of different options to choose from here. We'll get more into the presets a little later. For now, I'm just going to drag this main MoType 2 plugin onto my timeline. And what's really nice is you can browse the presets from this on-screen control. So we have all these presets here. You can even jump to a specific category. As you can see, we've got loads of cool ones, ink, motion painting, particles, all sorts of really cool stuff. Let's do a film credit style title so that I can show you how customizable these presets are. Let's go with the single name title. And again, you have these really great on-screen controls. I can go in here and edit the text. Let's go and change this to video editor. Let's put Brad West because my full name is far too long. You can also go ahead, change sizes and things like that. Let's maybe change the font. We'll have two different fonts for these two lines. Something like that looks cool. And then I'm going to keep this underlined. I can use the shortcut command U or just underline it there. I could do it for the word video as well. And for this particular preset, whatever's underlined will have this cool color gradient overlay. Now, if I double click on my inspector window and I open up all of these different options I have here, you can see how many different parameters there are to customize. So you can really make this title your own. Let's run through some of these parameters to show you how much you can change. We'll start with the text parameters. You can increase the scale if you like. You can increase the tracking. I might just move the position down to somewhere over here. It's a little big. Let's go a bit smaller. Maybe something like that. Now, this color source section is set to hue gradient to underlined. So anything that's underlined will have this gradient. But you can also go to the color picker and select sort of any color you like. I personally like having this hue gradient underlined, it's really nice. And in terms of the color, that would be the starting color, right? So I can change this and all the gradients will sort of cycle through the hues. But let's start with this blue, it goes into that nice purple, I quite like that. You can adjust how fast the hue changes across that underlined section. So I like something like this where it's a bit more subtle, goes from that like turquoise color to a more purple color. And there's a bunch of other parameters you can play with here to customize it even further. Let's move on to the layout section. And on the layout section, you can adjust things like line spacing, center the text or anything like that. You can adjust the position if you'd like to adjust it specifically on the X or Y axis. But I really like having this on-screen control point. It makes things super easy. Let's move on to motion timing. Now, before we go and change the parameters, let's have a look at what this title looks like. Really nice. Now let's go into the middle of this animation here so we can see what we're doing. And you can choose to animate these on a character per line basis, characters which will follow one after the other. You can do individual words. So it would look like this. Really nice, right? I personally like the characters per line, but I would speed this up. So currently it's set to a duration of 49 frames. I would like to set this to something a little faster. So something maybe Let's go like 18 frames. So not quite a second, a little bit more than half a second. And it looks like this. Let's go back into the middle of this animation here so we can see what these parameters do. You can adjust the spread and you can adjust the interpolation, which is basically how the text animates in. 
So we've got linear, quadratic, we can do it exponentially, it can be an elastic kind of movement, it can back in or out, it can bounce in. So for example, if we chose exponential out, it would look like this. You can also let the letters come in at a random order if you like. Let's move on to the motion mixer parameters. Now this will affect how those characters animate in or out. Currently, they're only set to move on the x-axis, but you can adjust the y-axis if you want the movement to be affected on the y-axis as well as the x-axis, and that would look like this. You can also adjust things like rotation, and that would look like this. Notice how every time I change a parameter and playback, I don't have to re-render, wait for things to process. It's super fast and super responsive. Let's move on to the trails and the trails color. The trail mode is currently set to motion painting. So let's go into the middle of this. And what you can do is you can set this to motion blur. Let's go back here into the middle of this animation and I'm going to increase the shutter amount to make this nice long blurred trail. And in terms of the color source, I can change that to one of these few options. I can have hue by element. I can have hue by element random. I can have a color picker mode. And here I might pick a nice orange color, which will be a nice contrast to the blue and purple tones we have in the underlined part of the text. And that looks like this. Let's go ahead and move on to the particle section. So once the text comes in, you'll see we've got these little particles. For this preset, it's little letters that come off those existing words. Now you can apply this to a random selection. You can increase the probability of which letters are going to have particles. If you push this all the way to 100%, every single letter will have a particle that's assigned to it. If you go lower, it'll be sort of random. And you can again use the seed value to randomize the particles. You can change things by how long the particle will animate for by changing things like the life, which is in frames, where it starts. You can change things like the direction, maybe in all directions. And that looks like this. And then let's go over transformations. Now transformations is pretty cool because what you can do is you can rotate this title preset on different axes. So let's go ahead and rotate the X and Y and maybe the Z a little bit like that. And I'll reposition this title in the bottom corner. So now we've created something that looks a little bit more 3D. Another great thing is that you can also keyframe parameters on these titles to customize the movement and the animation even further. So let's go to the beginning of this title effect and I'm going to set a parameter for my position, rotation on the X, Y and Z axes and I'll move to the end of this title and I'll go ahead and adjust those. So let's maybe do something a little bit more like this and I'm going to keep the position kind of in this corner. Then what happens over time is you have a title that moves and is a bit more dynamic like this. I haven't tried using MoType 2 in any of the other apps other than Final Cut Pro, but it's nice to know that you can buy the plugin once and use it across different apps if you use more than just one of them. If you'd like to pick it up, use the link down below and don't forget to use the coupon code as well to save yourself some money. Also, if you'd like to see another Effects Factory plugin that I use on a daily basis, then watch this video next.